ഹായ് എവറി വൺ ദിസ് ഈസ് മീ വന്നമറിയം സന്തോഷ് ഓഫ് പ്ലസ് വൺ സയൻസ് ഫ്രം വിജയമത പബ്ലിക് സ്കൂൾ തൂക്കുപാലം ടു സേ അബൌട്ട് നാഷണൽ ഗേൾ ചൈൽഡ് ഡേ ദ നാഷണൽ ഗേൾ ചൈൽഡ് ഡേ ഇസ് സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ എവറി ഇയർ ഓൺ ജാനുവരി ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർത്ത് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ബൈ ദ മിനിസ്ട്രി ഓഫ് വിമൻ ആൻഡ് ചൈൽഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ വിത്ത് എ പർപ്പസ് to spread awareness among people about the inequalities faced by each and every girl child in the Indian society. The day is celebrated by organizing various programs including awareness campaigns on Save the Girl Child, Child Sex Ratio and creating a healthy and safe environment for girl child. Also, This day is significant in promoting awareness on various issues faced by girls in the Indian society such as education, nutrition, legal rights, child marriage, medical care, protection and honor. The day is celebrated with the theme Empowering Girls for a Brighter Tomorrow. Now, Let me speak about the importance of a girl child. They go to school, help in household work, make friends, care for younger members and elder members of the family and prepare themselves to take on the responsibility of adulthood. Girls play multiple role in society, economy and in families. Let me speak about the problems or issues faced by girl child in the Indian society. I have often thought of it as one of the most barbarous condition that we consider ourselves as civilized nation that we deny the advantage of learning to girl child. The capacity of girl children are greater and their senses quicker than that of boys. They should be as particular, study, be taught all the graces of speech and necessary air of conversation which our common education is defective in. I need not expose it. They should be brought to read books so as to make them understand the world and make them able to know the things and judge of them when they hear of it and without partiality a woman of sense and manners is the most delicate and finest part of god's creation i need not enlarge the loss or defect of education is to gender nor argue the benefit of the contrary practice i refer to those happy days when all the girl children are given education another problem faced by girl children in india is child marriage the continuation of child marriage perpetuates poverty and gender discrimination illiteracy and malnutrition on the whole girls are faced maximum by child marriage both in higher numbers and with greater intensity Child marriage ends childhood. In India, 45% of girls are wedded below the age of 18 years. Most of the girls are from poor families. Most of them face problems like domestic violence, pregnancy problems and even death cases. In many parts of India, the personal laws are major reasons for child marriage. The Prohibition of Child Marriage Act of 2006 prohibits child marriage. Under this act, the marriageable age is prescribed as 21 years for male and that of female is 18 years. Malnutrition is another important crisis faced by girl children in India. According to the report, 47% of teenage girls coming under the age from 15 to 19 are undernourished this rate is highest in the world more than half of these girls 
are anemic, lack of potable water, poor sanitation, and dangerous hygienic conditions cause vulnerability to highly infectious and dangerous waterborne diseases. Four ways to prevent malnutrition are enhance midday meal, donate to NGO funds, teaching about nutrition, and investing in social welfare. No girl, no mother, ultimately no life. Let us try to spread happiness all around the world. On this girl child day, let me remind that if you see a girl child, smile at her with respect, care and love. Let me wish every girl child a happy national girl child day. Thank you.